Chase Custom House here. And as you can see in the background, we got the 1986 El Tigre 6000 finally running. Um, for some reason, when we actually had a decent amount or a little bit of snow to ride, um, it didn't want to start. Of course, plastic sweats. And then now, today, um, we did a compression test on each of the cylinders because um, that's what a lot of people said. And uh, good news, I had a cold motor, it had 125 psi, which is excellent for this motor. Um, so then, um, I started pulling away and within 10 pulls it started to run right. Um, so then I pulled it out of the shed and started riding it and it rode pretty good. So let's go over some future things we want to see for this side before it's done. Um, so as you guys watch the series, we repainted the whole thing. Um, most of it like the tunnel. Um, it's kind of a bit dirty because that's going to wear wearing boots. Uh, those things, they still need to go back on. Um, their holes are drilled out too big to put rivets in it. So we got to bolt those on with some screws. Um, that's no big deal. Um, eventually, I want to get a new seat cover, so if any of you guys have that, um, leave a message and I can email you or whatever. Uh, and I got a new windshield on this thing, so pop the hood and see what's under here. Um, so, what you guys are looking at right here is a 530cc Suzuki um, motor made for Articat. Um, it's got twin pipes, with all this um, is stuck under here with twin 38mm Makuni carburetors. Um, we replaced the radiator with a used one, um, but it works good. It's got a slight leak in it, so we just have to keep refilling it up. Um, I believe this might even be the original belt still to this sled. Um, it only has 860 miles on it, um, so that's pretty cool. But it's still in really good shape. Um, and most of these gauges work. Well, actually only one of them. The mile per hour gauge works. That's the only one we really need. The RPM gauge did work. Um, but then all of a sudden, for some reason, it doesn't want to work anymore. So we're going to have to work on that. And the temperature gauge does work, except the cable in it is broken. So I'm going to need to get a new one of those if I can find one. So yeah, let's take this thing out for a ride. See what it can do.